Hi everyone. Hi, welcome to today's yoga class. Uh, today we're going to go on a yoga adventure to the forest. And for this class, it would be good if you could have some blankets handy for the end. And perhaps a teddy. I've got my book rabbit teddy there. Perhaps a teddy to come and join you at the end as well. So let's come and get started though. I'm going to come and start with our seated centering. So if you need to go and get those things, you can just pause the video and go and grab them. So you've got them ready for the end. And then you can come and we'll come and start with our seated centering. So let's just come to notice how we're feeling this morning. Or so it might not be morning for you, you might be doing this in the afternoon. How we're feeling today. Coming to notice the body. Can you feel the sit bones? Having a really nice long tall back. Arms and hands are relaxed. And we're going to come and do our three breaths with the chime. So let's come. We're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose we listen to the chime. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's see how you feel after your breath. I'm going to put that aside. So the breathing can really help us to, to calm down and to feel nice and calm. So we can notice if we notice any difference after we've done our breathing. All right, let's come and bring a bit of movement to our body. So we're going to warm up before we get going to the woods, to the forest. So let's come and sit in our L-shaped sitting and we'll come and say hello to our toes and goodbye to our toes. We'll come and uh, give them a wiggle first, just waking them up, wiggling the toes and the feet, moving them towards you, hello toes, and away, goodbye toes. Coming to flex and point our feet, hello, goodbye. And then we can even maybe move them from side to side, windshield wiper feet, and then finding a whole circle. Circling your feet one way and then the other way. And then let's bring our arms up. Hi, see if we can tickle the sky and then we're going to take them out to the side and imagine we're a little bit like an aeroplane going from side to side. I'm just going to have to change my angle a little bit so I've got space for my arms. We're going to go ooh, going all the way down and all the way to the other side. Coming way up and all the way down. Great. And then let's come and bring our knees in and give our knees a big hug. Tell me to give your knees a big hug and maybe even a kiss. Mm -hmm. saying hello to your body. From here, we're going to come and say hello to our shoulders now. So we find our cross leg seated position. We're going to give our shoulders a little bit of a squeeze and we're going to find our little baby bird wings. So we've got these little wings like a chick. You can even say chick, 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 like a baby bird. Moving our wings up and down and maybe again finding some circles with our wings. Can you circle your wings one way and circle them the other way? Well done, that's great. And then from here, we're going to bring our arms out. So we're a big bird. We've got big bird wings. We're going to come and turn them up and all the way down. So bringing our big bird wings up. Maybe we can even touch the hands together and then pushing out through the palms. Well done. And then just come to give your arms and your shoulders a little rest. Notice how they're feeling. And we're going to come to find our way onto our hands and knees for our cat cow. So let's come into a, like a sort of tabletop position, all fours, and we're gonna come and do our cat and cow. So for our cow position, we're gonna lift our tail where we can tuck our toes, look forward, we can say, and for our cat, we're gonna untuck our toes and arch between the back. We're gonna bring the chin and the hips towards each other, and we can even say, forward, move, and coming up, and in our cat cow, we're getting nice, a nice movement for our back bone, for our vertebrae in our spine. It's going to go all the way from down here, all the way up into your neck. So we're getting movement all along our spine when we come and do this pose. One more time, coming forward, and back to our cat and then we're going to come to just being in our normal tabletop we're going to tuck our toes under we're going to let our hips come back and we're going to lift up our knees we're going to find our downward dog this triangular v-shaped pose 
We're going to bend one knee, straighten the other. We're going to walk our feet forward. And we're just going to take a moment. Hanging out here, we can hold on to the elbows. Hanging out, and then we're going to come to roll up. I need to take a moment to stand in mountain pose. Here I stand in mountain pose, mountain pose, mountain pose. Here I stand in mountain pose, tall and strong and still. Great, well done everyone. We're gonna come and do our sun salutation song now, so we won't be standing still for long. We're gonna come and do some dancing. I'm just gonna turn the music on. We're gonna come and move our bodies however they want to move today. So let's find our song and coming to move. Dancing however you want to dance. You might want to kick your legs up high today. You might want to do some jumping. You might want to dance really slowly. Coming to find your way down to sitting. I'm just going to turn the music off. Ah, let's just take a moment to come down to sitting and notice how our bodies feel. Ooh, I need to get my breath back. So maybe if you did a lot of dancing around like me, you might need to come and do a few breaths. So let's actually come and do, um, let's actually come and do our hand breath where we're going to trace our, our breath. We're going to uh, trace our fingers and breathe with our fingers. So we're going to breathe in as we go upwards and breathe out as we come down. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose. Breathing in and breathing out. A bit better I think I might be ready to go on our forest adventure now and we're going to go to the forest in a very exciting way I thought no we're not going to go by car or train or anything like that we're going to go by hot air balloon yes that's right so let's come we're going to come to kneeling and we're going to have our toes tucked and we're going to imagine that we're blowing up our hot air balloon okay so 
We're going to breathe in through our nose and breathe out through our mouth. Imagine we're blowing up a balloon, breathing in. We're going to bring our balloon arms up, breathing in. your hot air balloon blown up mine is now we're gonna fly in our hot air balloon all the way to the forest now remember hot air balloons don't go that fast and they're kind of a bit floaty so I want you to move around the room in the way that a hot air balloon would move so not going too fast and imagine that you've got that kind of floaty hot air balloon quality so floating off to the forest and we've got an amazing view from our hot air balloon you can look down over the side and see all the houses and then finally we come to the forest and you can see many many trees so much green wow and look down there i spot a clearing a perfect place for us to land our hot air balloon so let's come to our clearing and we're going to gently let the air out of our balloon and come to land in the middle of the forest so peaceful I can hear the birds singing and I can hear the wind rustling through the trees what can you hear in the forest today so we're in this clearing and around our many beautiful wild flowers let's come and do our flower pose together so we're going to bring our feet together and we're going to take our hands and bring them underneath like this and this is a bit of a balancing pose. So actually, I should have said before you come up to balance, make sure that there isn't anything behind you that you could hit your head on in case you fall backwards. Okay, so from here, we're going to come to lift up our feet and bring our fingers together like petals. And this is our flower pose. We can open our petals and close. Lovely. Okay, so actually, let's come and do our flower breath. So we can let the legs come down and what we can do for our flower breath we can start really small so we've got these our fingers together we're going to breathe in and open our petals and breathe out and close them breathing in and breathing out and i think we want our flower to grow a little bit maybe to make it a little bit bigger let's come and bring the bottom of our hands together the heels of our hands and we're going to just touch all the fingers and we're going to breathe in and breathe out, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. And how about if we make it even a little bit bigger, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. And now how about one more, one more size up. Okay, we're going to need our legs again. Okay, so from here we're going to breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Our whole body is the flower, balancing on our sit bones, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose. Well done. And then let's come and put our feet together. There's lots of these little animals fluttering around. These animals love wildflowers. That's right, you guessed it's our butterfly pose. Let's come and make our butterfly wings flutter We've got our bottom wings and we're also going to come and make some top wings and some antenna. Oh, what colour are your butterfly wings going to be today? Mine are going to be, mine are going to be green with silver spots and yellow stripes on the top wings. Green with yellow spots, green with yellow stripes and green with silver spots. How about yours? Okay, and then let's come and bring our hands down. And I think it's time for us to go a little bit deeper into the forest, into the trees, and see if we can spy some animals in there. Now, one animal I'd love for us to see, but it's quite a timid animal, it's quite shy, is a deer. So we're going to have to go really, really um, quietly. So let's come and see if we can do really quiet tiptoe walking. Let's come onto our hands and knees. Let's come and bring our hands back and we'll come, and come all the way up to standing. I want you to see how quietly can you move. Maybe you've got creaky floorboards, that means it's quite hard. Not very quiet at all. So we're going really slow. Quietly. And maybe we'll spot a deer. If they get 
startled, they run off really quickly. So, I think we can see some just through the trees there. Let's come and freeze and be really still so we can watch them. Okay, let's come and do our deer pose now. So let's come down to sitting. Now we're going to come and pretend we're deer. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to take both feet to one side. So I've got my both feet coming to one side. Okay, and this is where we're going to be. We're going to be deer. We can make some antlers or ears, deer ears with our hands, hand antlers. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to take the hand that's on the same side as the feet and we're going to take it to the outside knee. We're going to take the other hand behind and then we're going to be nice and tall and long through our spine. We're going to breathe in and then we're going to look behind us just to make sure there's nothing behind us. Did you see anything behind you? Let's come and have another look. I think we're okay. The deer didn't see anything. It hasn't run off. It's still sitting there. Should we come and do the other side and check behind us on the other side? So what we can do for here, we can take our hands down behind us, lift our legs up, give them a little wiggle and take them down to the other side. Okay, so let's come and do the same thing on the other side. So now the feet are on the other side. We're going to take the hand that's on the same side of the feet to the outside knee. We're going to take the other hand behind us and again we're going to come nice and tall through our spine. And then we're going to have a little look behind us. Ooh. Is there someone there? No, the deer didn't see. They're fine. Great. That's our deer pose. Okay, let's come back up to standing. We're going back onto our hands and knees. Let's see if we can see some other animals as well. Let's tuck our toes under, let their hips come back, and we're going to come into a downward dog, into that V shape. We can bend and straighten the legs. Walking the feet forwards, and we can just come and be like a rag doll. Let our arms and our head be really floppy, like floppy spaghetti, and we can come and roll all the way up to standing. Now, there's one thing that there's lots of in the forest trees. So, we're going to come and do our tree pose, and maybe we'll see a few animals that live in the trees as well. Okay, so for our tree pose, we're going to come and imagine that one leg is our trunk rooting down nice and strong and we're going to take the other foot and we're going to let the foot rest against the ankle now you can always hold on to something if you need to if you're a little bit wobbly or you can try and look at something that isn't moving that can sometimes help us not to wobble or we can just come and be a bit of a wobbly tree that's okay as well let's come we can bring our hands together and you can keep your toes down here or you can see if you can lift them up onto your calf muscle we don't want to put them on our knee so either on your calf or here just coming to be a tree and if you found your balance you can bring your branches out wide big beautiful tree breathing in and breathing out wonderful well done let's bring our hands together bring the hands down through the middle and come and find our mountain pose again so trees are amazing scientists are just finding out that um trees Kind of communicate with each other under the ground through their roots so there's lots of the tree that we don't see that is under the ground so we can only see the the part that's above ground the trunks and the branches but underneath there's lots of roots let's come into the other side so again we're imagining now the other leg is the trunk and then you can imagine there's roots going all the way under the ground and um, when one tree is maybe in trouble or not so well they can send nourishment and energy through the roots to the tree that's a little bit sick and they kind of look after each other that way so let's come and bring our hands together again we've got our foot leaning against the ankle being nice and tall like a tree maybe a little bit wobbly wobbling in the wind it's all good maybe you've got some leaves on the ends of your fingers and you can hear them rustling We bring our branches back together, bring them down through the middle and come and find our mountain. Now, I can hear something. It's like a tap, tap, tap. Uh, and it's a particular bird. Anyone know what that kind of bird would be? That's right, it's a woodpecker, a woodpecker. We're gonna come do our woodpecker pose now. So we're gonna stand to the side so you can see. We're gonna come and bring our arms together Hands up overhead, we're going to bend the elbows and we're going to fold forward and we're going to imagine these are our, this is our woodpecker beak, peck, 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 let's bring our feet together actually so we've got a tree trunk, 
And then let's take the arms out wide, like our woodpecker wings. Bringing our hands together and let's come down one more time. Do a little bit more picking. Peck, peck, peck. Peck, peck, peck. Great. So a woodpecker is a bird that um, is awake in the daytime. So you'd hear a woodpecker in the daytime in the forest. It's kind of called a diurnal bird, one that is awake in the daytime. But now we're going to come and be a nocturnal bird. So a nocturnal bird only comes up when it's night time. And I'm going to give you a clue to what this bird is. It goes tweet, 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 tweet. Yes, that's right, it's an owl. Hopefully you guessed it from my bad owl impression. But let's come down. We're going to take our feet wide, come into a little squat, and we're going to imagine, we're going to come onto our toes, and we're going to imagine that we're on a branch. So we're going to imagine that we're an owl on a branch, and we're going to take our hands behind us. I'll come to the side so you can see. Take our hands behind us and we're going to come and make our wings. Now, owls can look around very well with their necks. They can't quite look as far as an owl. But just looking over your shoulders, balancing on your branch with your owl wings. Okay, and now we can come to our forward fold and roll all the way up. And we found now this amazingly huge tree. I've never seen such a big tree in my life. In fact, maybe we would see a big tree like this in, in America. There's a place called the Redwood Forest where the trees are really, really, really giant. Um, so we can imagine maybe it's a giant redwood tree. And we're going to climb up that tree, okay? So let's imagine we're climbing up that tree. Oh, I think it's a bit of a magical tree, actually. Maybe some of you know the magical far away tree stories. Maybe it's a bit like that. So let's lift up our knees as we climb. We can see down below us. And now we've come to a spot. We're going to need our blankets now because we found what we found is a wonderful blanket nest. So I want you to make your lovely blanket nest. And you can make this however you want. Just make it cozy. And we're going to come and have a nest rest. And in your blanket nest is going to be your teddy. Can you imagine? Climb this magical tree and there in your cosy nest. <sighs> cosy. It's your teddy. There's no teddy. So let's come now to get into our nests. In fact, you might even want to cover yourself. You might even need another blanket. And you can maybe take your teddy. And we're going to get ourselves really cosy into our nest and we're going to come and have our little rest. So we might be all curled up today in our nest. Or you might have space to lie down straight and you can cuddle your teddy and just come and be cosy in your nest. Ah, feeling safe and warm. And we can come to remember some of the things that we saw today in the woods before we go back in our hot air balloon home. Hmm. What did we see? We saw the deer. Maybe we can even peek out from over our nest and see some animals down below. The woodpecker. The owl. The butterfly. Maybe you saw some other animals in the forest too. Hmm. Coming to let your body rest now. Just having a little bit of quiet, peaceful nest. Rest. Noticing how it is to just have some quiet time. We're not going to sleep, but we're just letting all of the muscles in our body, we're going to let them all come and just have a little bit of a rest. We're going to notice our breath again. And again, maybe we're breathing in and out through our nose. Feeling calm and peaceful, cosy in your nest. And you can stay in your nest for as long as you like, but I'm gonna come, we're gonna come, we're gonna come out of it. But if you want to stay and rest for a little bit longer, please do. And we can always make a nest rest, have a nest rest at any other time as well. Come in to build your little nest. 
Otherwise, if you're ready to come out of your nest rest as well, coming up to a seated position, I'm going to put my head in with me, this is my little rabbit. This rabbit sometimes comes in with me to school on Easter, at Easter time. Maybe Lily, she's, this is the little Easter bunny that comes with me. Um, so maybe some of you have seen her before. But let's come and finish by saying Namaste to each other. We can bring our hands in front of our chests. Oh, and we're going to come to bow to each other. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed our little forest adventure and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care everyone. Bye.